sure we'll avenge it. What's going on guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I'm going to be doing another LEGO Marvel set review. This time I have the final set exclusive to the Avengers movie, and this one is the Quinjet Aerial Battle. The set number is 6869, ages 8 through 14, and it has 735 pieces. And I hope you guys enjoyed that little skit that I did in the beginning. I know it was a little pathetically done, but it was for you guys, so yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, so this, I, I actually love this set. Just the Quinjet itself is awesome. I mean, the, the past sets that we got, like a, like the X-Men set, we had a helicopter and, and you know, a, a, like a truck for the Cosmic Cube, and, you know, it wasn't anything special. But this, this is really awesome. This is really well built. It has passenger seats area, you know, it has air space in the back for even more figures. And it has a pilot or the cockpit, which is awesome. It has a really nice and well done seat. And this is awesome. I love this set. But I do wish on the underside of it there weren't so many colorful pieces. But Loki speeder is pretty cool. But I don't really think he'll be sitting down as he's being chased by such a huge Quinjet. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get on to the figures. All right, so we're going to start off with the Iron Man variant in his Mark VII armor. This one is pretty cool, but I still prefer the one that we get in the Cosmic Cube. I don't know why. I just like the triangular shape repulsor more. But the circular one is pretty cool. As you do know, the Mark VI, ar Mark VI armor is the armor Iron Man wore in the Iron Man 2 movie. And now in the Avengers, he'll be wearing this Mark VII armor and we'll have his circular repulsor back. So, the torso detailing is really nice. Take a look at that. And I will compare the two. For now, the helmet is exactly the same as the other one. So, no difference in the helmet. He does. He is still holding the two studs that are supposed to be his uh, jets. But, yeah. There's also, he has the same thing on his feet, but using translucent blue cylinders. The back printing is really nice as well. So there's that. And the there are differences between the two variants of Iron Man. Um, the torso and back are different along with the legs. But here is a look at his face. You can flip up the visor as well, as I just showed there. I do wish Lego would have put a screen right in there though, but whatever. <laughs> uh, the Tony Stark head is really nice. So here's a comparison between the two Iron Man variants that we get in the Avengers line. The Mark 7 is pretty cool, but I still prefer the Mark 6 over it because not only does the torso have a little bit more detail, but I'm just a bigger fan of the triangular shaped repulsor than the circular shaped. But the knees are pretty nice. I honestly prefer the knees on the Mark 7 over the one on the Mark 6. Um, the back printing on the Mark 7 is also a little bit better than the Mark 6. So overall, I think just the torso is the torso is better for me but the helmets are exactly the same so yeah they're the two iron man variants so there's his double-sided head it's pretty nice it's his angry face <laughs> so yeah there is iron man and his mark 7 armor all right now we have the almighty thor thor is pretty awesome uh this is the second time we get him his torso printing is very nice and his hammer is a little boring, but I wish the handle would be brown and the top would be gunmetal. But I have already taken one of my Thor hammers and painted it gunmetal just to, you know, make it a little bit better. But, um, yeah, so, so all you customizers, this is why you paint the hammer. Because it looks better. Anyway, I'm loving the use of the red cape along with the double-sided head, which is very cool angry face they all have angry faces and um is the back printing is pretty nice as well me maneuver his cape around his hammer so he looks like a vampire <laughs> right there's his back printing his blonde hair is really nice as well the use of the dastan hair molded in blonde is really nice a yellowish blonde but yeah so there's thor the almighty thor so, we also get Loki, the main villain for the Avengers movie. I This is like the third time I am showing him, but um, whatever. <laughs> so, his staff is really nice. It has the removable dagger up top, 
basically you just pull it off. It's a little difficult, but there you go. Then you just put that right back in to complete his staff. His helmet is rubbery, actually. Very rubbery. But it's not that bad. Um, he is using the Bruce Wayne head, which is kind of weird. So he's like Loki Wayne. So apparently Loki is Bruce Wayne's son. <laughs> um, anyway, the he does feature a green cape. You gotta love the colors of capes that Lego's been using for this event for the superheroes lines. Um, the torso and leg printing, along with the belt printing, is really nice. Looks really well. I love how they, they extend the coat all the way down to his legs. Looks really nice, and he does not feature back printing. So, there's Loki. Now we have Black Widow. I think Black Widow is really awesome. She features her black suit, along with a nice zipper and, you know, belt and tons of detail. Looks really awesome, and the, her leg printing is also really nice. And she has two pouches here. And it's really cool. I love the detail on her. Her hairstyle is a little off compared to the pictures that we've seen of her. Um, so. Here's her back printing, and she does have a double-sided face. So there's the back printing, really nice. Again, we have two pouches here, and some nice detailing. And there is her double-sided face with her hair on. What I do not like about this, her head is the fact that she has these markings, these right here, two of them, on each face, and I think it makes her look like an old lady. So, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and erase those now, but she's a really awesome figure besides that, and I don't understand why the skin tone is off compared to here to here, it's like the whole Captain America ordeal, but not a bad figure, not a bad figure. Now we have the foot soldier, Loki's foot soldier. This is basically the standard infantryman for the aliens in the Avengers movie. Um, his entire torso, legs... Everything is all light bluish gray, and she does feature purple hands and a nice metallic gold head with printing on the front, which is really nice and detailed, along with the back. And then uh, he does have some nice printing here, but it, it does look a little empty around here and here, but it's not bad. And the printing on the belt and everything is just awesome about it. Really nice figure. I have always loved you! Me too! <laughs> Alright, so now onto the actual set. So we're gonna start off with Loki's chariot, just to, to get that out of the way. So let's go ahead and move the Quinjet aside. And, um, so. Loki's chariot is pretty cool. It has... what could be lasers on the front there. It's interesting because they're made out of golden cups, but <laughs> um, it, it does look cool. And they use, it's a nice use of um, like a tusk kind of shape down here. They almost look like tusks, but even though they're teeth pieces, but they do look cool and it's a nice little detail. Um, this thing does actually have a, a good amount of stickers. It has one here symmetrically on the other side, and then one for the hood. Then uh, this guy, we have our foot soldier who basically just stands right here and there you go he just pretty much holds on and somehow flies it around <laughs> um loki just sits up here like a boss like the, like a king um he just has this seat here even though he's being chased by iron man thor black widow and a huge quinjet i mean might as well just relax and sit inside your chariot as you fly away so that's pretty good <laughs> that's not a very good idea but it's pretty cool it is actually posable you can see here, not really with the figure on, but, but, yeah, so, it's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so there's Loki's chariot. Get on there. There we go. <laughs> so there's Loki's chariot. So now we're going to take a look at the comic. The comic is pretty cool. This is the fourth comic. And, uh, the cover is awesome. And this is unfortunately the last Avengers comic, unless they release more sets later. But, so sad face. But there's this. I'm just going to flip through it all. You can have a pause at it all if you want to check it out. And then, uh, it's 
It's pretty cool. You got, I, I love it how Lego actually put the uh, Lego name on the picture. It's kind of funny. Um, and then you have all this battle. Iron Man looks pretty cool in that shot. There's the Quinjet coming in. And that's about it. So, yeah, there you go. And now we await the Spider-Man sets. So the Quinjet here is pretty insane. This thing is a monster. It has a decent amount of stickers on it, but it doesn't ruin it. It actually just makes it look more awesome. You do have two big stickers here and here, two here, one here and then one here symmetrically, and then on the front, actually the inside, we have a sticker for the uh, piloting system. And then there is a sticker down here, which I'll give you a better look at later. But yeah, so basically we'll start with the cockpit. So let's bend the camera down a bit. I'll take the figures off so I can pick it up. So inside the cockpit, we have Black Widow piloting it. And you just open that up. And here's a good look at the cockpit. Pull her out, and the seating is really awesome. I love the seat, how Lego did that, along with the control panel, which is actually, you can bend it, but it is a little difficult to do so. But you can bend that if you really try. But when you're holding it up like this in front of a camera, it's not that easy. <laughs> so you see it here and there, and this thing can go up and down. So I prefer to keep it down like that. And the first thing that I think of when I see this set is a pelican. I just immediately think of a Halo pelican. Because it, it, ha it has similarities. But it's obviously not the same shape. But anyway, um, the next piece, this cockpit, or this second glass piece, I guess you could call it. It's interesting. It reminds you of a gunship as well. And it has the two windows or glass cockpit areas. It's pretty cool. Pull that off. And inside, you can see Iron Man. And if you take Thor's cape off, or if you... You could probably see... Sit, uh, see Thor in there if you really maneuver him in there with this cape on. But in there is a control panel sticker on a white piece, believe it or not. So there's that in there. And we're gonna stick Iron Man in there. So take his, take all of his pieces off and just see him right in there. And so, yeah. There he is in there, he seats in very nicely. So, the top actually has a good amount of sloping to it, which is really awesome. Really love that, all that sloping detail. And I love Lego's use of these, you know, the translucent light blue grates, really awesome. Um, and then we have a hatch up here. I don't know what the point of that is. I guess maybe when they're, when Thor's like standing on top of it, he can jump down into the Quinjet to safety or jump out, whatever he chooses, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And then once they capture Loki, what they can do is send this thing out from the bottom, pull that down, and then release this. And this will capture Loki. This actually has a sticker on it. So it's pretty cool. And you just load that back up, and it goes in pretty nicely. Just like that. And then the wheels are really awesome. I love, how, I love these wheels here with the sloping around them looks really awesome and I love how Lego used the you know they used two wheels two sets of wheels for each so there's three of those then on the bottom we have two flick fire missiles on each wing so they're on there too and basically they're flick fire missiles so you can pull them down and send them out that was pathetic but yeah we'll, we'll try that again eh eh there we go that was a little better so, flick fire missiles are never our favorite, and um, but they're always in a set, so you gotta get used to them. And then the back of it, this is what really reminds you of a Pelican, how it has the opening door on the back. So in there you can see, I wish LEGO would have not left the Technic pieces in there all exposed. But in there you can see like yellow bricks, so you can see red bricks and some Technic rods. So it doesn't look that fantastic. So, um... Yeah, but you can seat about if you if you can probably put about three figures in there, so that's really awesome. And I love the sloping here as well. 
and then the engines here. I, I kind of wish these weren't shown because that kind of looks weird with the Technic rods kind of sticking out, but that's all right. It's not that bad. That's not that big of a deal, but those are bendable. So, and then the wings here are bendable as well. So, and that's symmetrical on the other side as well. Try not to drop this monster. <laughs> so, yeah, and then you just put this back on. And when Thor is on top, like he is in the box, you can just open this thing up and jump in there to safety. But I love, I am really impressed with this one, to tell you the truth. I haven't seen Lego make a set like this good in a while. You know, I mean, I've seen in, you know, the past Lego Star Wars sets, they haven't had this much room. We didn't really get any huge drop ships like this. I mean, the last time we got an awesome set like this was the gunship, and that was like 2008. But... Gotta love these kind of sets with the drop ships where you, where you can just hold a ton of figures and they're just monsters. And especially this one, how it really relates. Not really, it really relates, but reminds you of a pelican and a gunship since it has the two cockpits here. And But it's really, really awesome. And I'm pretty sure in the Avengers movie there's going to be multiple of these, so I might even pick up a second one because this is awesome. And the fact that we get Iron Man and his Mark Seven armor is even better. And this is the only set we can get Black Widow in. So that, that, that's another reason to get this set. Uh, I do wish we would have gotten Hulk, though. But I don't see where he would go, to tell you the truth. But maybe, like, on the box, they would have him, like, on a building attacking some foot soldiers. But that about sums it up for the Avengers reviews, guys. Um, so this will stop. The reviews are stopping here for a little bit until the Spider-Man set gets, gets released. And then I will review that because I'm loving these superhero sets. And yeah, so now we're going to get back to the back on schedule here with showcases and other things. So stay tuned for my next video, which is a showcase on my Modern Warfare 3 Juggernaut. So that's it, guys. And these sets have been awesome. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. I have an army. We have a Hulk.